Welcome to a Katana demo. This is Sean with Katana. Hi there. Hey, Sean, and I'm Lance with Brano Consulting. And Sean is going to show us how to set up an integration between Katana and QuickBooks. Yeah, so you can see here, I'm just logged in through our browser here. Katana is a completely cloud-based solution. I'm gonna jump over to the settings area and dive into the integration piece. We're gonna drill into this QuickBooks integration. I'm gonna go in and connect up my system to QuickBooks. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna to connect to my, uh, my QuickBooks uh, account that I have set up. And we're gonna look at our more advanced uh, integration. We would then select uh, the QuickBooks account. So I don't have too many accounts set up in my QuickBooks solution. So I'll go in, uh, select my sales, my inventory, and my cost of goods sold accounts. Identify you know, what tax rate, I don't have one set up. So I'll just click okay. And so now my system is connected to QuickBooks. So once you have your QuickBooks connection turned on, if we were to jump back to our sales screen, we'll see that on our sales screen, we have our sales orders listed out and we have this invoice column now added into the system. And so this is how you can go and generate um, that invoice over on QuickBooks from your sales order within Katana. Let's go add one into the system here. So I'll go into the plus sign and I'm gonna go and create a sales order in our system. So we're gonna identify our customer, Mary, uh, and we can go and put in the product that we're selling. Let's say we're gonna sell a chair. And we can see I've got my lounge chair, which is a product that we have set up within the system. And let's say Mary's looking to purchase five lounge chairs off of us today. The system will identify that I don't have enough finished goods in stock to fulfill that sales order. And I actually don't have enough ingredients or raw materials in inventory to fulfill that sales order. What you're looking at there is the ingredients. So this is when we expect to receive in the ingredients, right? Right yeah. from your sales order line item, you're actually able to see, do I have the raw materials in stock to actually make this finish good? So if we wanted to go and take a look at that, we could go and look at our item card. So I can pop open our item card here and we can see we have our lounge chair, we have our general information related to it, and then we have our bill of material and our operations. So if I wanna jump over to our bill of material, we can see this product is made out of two meters of wood and uh, some black paint. What's happened here is we already have a PO in the system for whatever we're missing on that ingredients list. And so that purchase order is what we're waiting on. So we can see here, there's already, we're missing black paint. Oh, beautiful. And, All right. and the PO that that's on is PO number three. And so we're waiting to receive in five liters of black, or that's what we're missing, but we're waiting to receive in this purchase order PO. We have our sales order in the system. Now there's two ways you can create a manufacturing order within Katana. So one is a make to order job. The other is a make to stock job. If I was to go ahead and create a manufacturer to order job, I would just click make and hit make to order. And this would create a manufacturing order directly related to this sales order that we're creating in the system. Our sales order has been entered in the system. We've got the SO2. The same information is listed here. So we can see that we don't have the finished good in stock. We do have some ingredients that are outstanding, but on an open PO. And we haven't created a manufacturing order just yet. Jumping over to our stock screen, and we can see how we would consolidate all of our demand together to then create our manufacturing order. So if I jump over to products, so products are things we make and sell. Um, we can see here a list of all of our products, and there's really four pieces of information we're gathering to determine how much we need to go and manufacture. So we have our in-stock quantity, we have our expected, we have our committed, which means demand from uh, sales orders. And then we have a reorder point or how much do we want to actually keep in stock? And so I can consolidate this list and only look at items that are below my reorder point, okay? Uh, or items that I actually need to go and manufacture is probably a better uh, definition of, of what this is showing here. And we can see here our lounge chair uh, taking, you know, what we have in stock, what's expected, what's committed, and our reorder point and calculating out how much we're short, and that's how much we need to go and manufacture. So for the lounge chair, we can see here committed is six, 
So I, if I wanted to go and see where that demand is coming from, I can click into this order and see where that demand is coming from. So, I, so if I wanted to now go and create a manufacturing order, it'll create an order for 12 uh, based on our minimum stocking quantity is 10. So I can go and hit make. I can edit this quantity uh, and I can go and open that order up so we can take a look at what that looks like. So here's our manufacturing order for our lounge chair. Okay, we can see we've got our 12 pieces listed out here that we should manufacture. We have the ability to enter in the actual quantity that we end up producing. Uh, and then you have the ingredients that you require. And you can see here, we have our wood in stock, uh, but we're still waiting on uh, our paint here. So I can go out and create now a, a purchase order, just as I had done with the manufacturing or product screen. On the material screen, I can put in a negative column here. I can look at the components that we are short or missing, and I can now go and issue a new purchase order. So we just hit the buy button. We can buy some black paint as well as we can go and buy anything else that might be missing from that supplier. We'll hit check and then create an open order. Sorry. So you can see here on the purchase order, we've got our black paint, but we also have brown and cognac that have been added to this. And you can see the quantity that's been added to that purchase order. We've now created a PO in the system, PO number two. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a bill over in QuickBooks related to the purchase order that we just generated here. So I'm gonna hit Perfect. the drop down here, hit create bill, and this will connect to uh, our QuickBooks account. And we've now created that bill for our purchase order order over in QuickBooks. And I can actually go and open that up within yeah, the system. Let's go take a look. So we've got our, our purchase order um, that we just had for our, our different colors of paint and the dollar amount has all been entered in and we've got our bill now created uh, within QuickBooks. Yeah, a different one, there we go. We're gonna hit receive all. We've now received in <coughs> and we can see um, our uh, purchase orders that we've received in. And if we then wanted to go and create uh, the invoice related to one of these purchase orders, we could go in and hit uh, create bill. Okay, so there's a couple ways you could find the manufacturing order related to a specific sales order. But the easiest way, and this is really the nice thing I think about Katana, is just on our sales screen here, you can see here's our sales order. And so now I can go in, take a look at our manufacturing order here. Um, so we actually have two manufacturing orders related to this, MO3 and MO1. Uh, MO1 is the one we created, MO3 was the one that was already in the system. So here's the manufacturing order for the 12 pieces that we need to go out and manufacture. And we can see that black paint that we went and purchased is now in stock, but we still need to go and complete the different operations, you know, cutting, assembly, and packaging. Within Katana, you do have the ability to assign this to specific employees, and they would have a task list out on the shop floor that they could work through. We've got this manufacturing order in the system. Assuming that, you know, we're just gonna say that it's done, the system will actually go through and just complete all of those steps automatically for us. So we just hit done, and now the system has completed those manufacturing steps. We're gonna see here that for our sales order that we entered into the system, we now have our inventory in stock. And now so, I, I'm looking at these three column headers, point to sell item, ingredients, and production. So, so now I see we've got the sales item status, the ingredient status, and the production status. Production for this sales order is done. Um, the ingredients are processed and the sales items are in stock. So we have a status for each level. And if it says not available, that means yikes. We don't have a purchase order or we don't have a manufacturer order and we need to get one. In the production column, it says make, but we don't have to make the ones that have the yellow expected because there's either a purchase order or a manufacturer order that already has a BTA. Okay, so there's two other columns. There's a delivery column and an invoice column. And that's where we're gonna go next, right? Yeah, we're absolutely. Gonna, we're gonna invoice this sales orders. Show us what that's all about. Uh, you can go in and say that you've delivered something so you can actually pack first. Okay, I've packed that product. 
we should now go and create the invoice for it. Um, that might be a, a, I can then hit create invoice. That's gonna go ahead and create that invoice over in QuickBooks. So we've now created that invoice within QuickBooks. And then I can actually say deliver all, and that would move our sales order over to the done uh, section within the system. Yeah, let's let's uh, let's go take a look. If I was to click that invoice, it would uh, create the invoice over uh, in QuickBooks, and you can click on it and you can open that up right from the system. Oh, that's cool. And it links and loads. Wow. That's right, exactly. So we can see here yeah. our customer. We have our invoice information, the products that we uh, we shipped out. Uh, and are now invoicing our customer for. Thanks for joining us today. Like if you like this, we'd love to hear your comments. Uh, always value comments, but yeah, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more uh, Katana videos and other inventory software videos that connect to QuickBooks. That's what we do here at uh, Brando Consulting. Thank you very much for having me, Lance. Really appreciate it.